Human activity has affected the environment for thousands of years. From our very earliest ancestors' time, when Homo sapiens first walked the planet, the world around us has been changed by agriculture, transportation, and gradually by urbanization and commercial networks. Our impact on the environment is so substantial at this point in Earth's physical history that scientists believe that the ecosystems that are untouched by human intervention on Earth no longer exist. We have altered our ecosystems forever through our intervention in Mother Nature. While some of these changes may be negative, however, humans also have the power to correct their mistakes and change the environment for the better. Human civilization and technology has changed Earth in more ways than you'd even think in both negative and positive ways. Harmful Impact of Humans on Environment Number 1. Overpopulation Human overpopulation has been a concern for scientists since at least 1798, when Thomas Malthus first published his finding that, without significant and ongoing technological innovation, the human population would almost certainly outstrip the planet's food supply. In 1968, this concern was again raised in Stanford professor Al Parr Elrich's book, The Population Bomb. Accommodating population growth has been a root cause for much of the impact we've had on our environment. Since Malthus first noted his grave concerns, Technological advances have created a new double-edged sword, health and abundance. Our food supply today can support more lives than ever, and advances in medical science have led to increasingly longer lifespans. But this has a side effect of reducing population turnover and rapid expansion of humans. So as our quality of life and life expectancy improve, the challenges wrought by overpopulation accelerate as well. Number two, agriculture, domesticated animals, and genetic modification. Demand to feed an increasing human population has encouraged tremendous developments in agriculture, which was the first major human breakthrough to enable our species' survival. Early farming permitted hunter-gatherer cultures to settle an area and grow their own food. This immediately affected the environment by the transportation of non-native species to new places and by giving more priority to the cultivation of some certain plants and animals than others. More recently, developments in genetic engineering have raised questions about the effect of newly engineered crops on the environment. In particular, the domestication of livestock and other species, including dogs and cats, by early humans altered the land in significant ways. Grazing animals contributed to environmental change by depleting native grasses and contributing to soil erosion. And we now know that the rapid expansion of cattle populations to meet human dietary demands has contributed substantially to changes in the composition of gases within the atmosphere. These effects have been exacerbated by the industrialization of agriculture in the last several centuries but it has also prompted a subsequent wave of positive counter-movements which seek to reverse the negative effects of human intervention. People today are becoming increasingly aware of the environmental effects of large industrial farms and want to return to smaller farms and even urban gardens. When the prevalence of eating local grows, urban land is reclaimed for conventional agriculture and the climate is again altered as a result of human labor. Number three, deforestation and reforestation. Growing populations have to be housed, which means they seek more space to build homes in cities. This also includes clearing forests in order to make way for urban and suburban growth, as well as providing material for construction. At present, 18 million acres of trees are expected to be clear cut per year to create space for construction and to be used in wood products. Deforestation has many effects, including decreasing oxygen levels and increasing greenhouse gases, elevated risk of soil erosion, and the destruction of animal habitats. But as is the case with industrial agriculture, some groups have endeavored to create a positive counter-impact to deforestation's detrimental effects on the environment. 
Reforestation efforts seek to replace as much forest land as possible every year, and it is currently estimated that about 40% of the trees removed each year are being replaced. Number 4. Pollution. Human activities affect the environment by contributing to air pollution or through the emission of harmful greenhouse gases into the air. Air pollution can cause health problems in humans and can also harm plants and animal life. Pollution is not limited to just air because it can affect soil or waterways and can also come from human waste, industrial chemicals, and other sources. These toxins have tremendous effects on the natural world, leading to the degradation of the environment, acid rain, and harmful ocean algal blooms. Local and federal environmental protection laws have been implemented as a way of halting pollution-induced ecological damage. Number five, global warming and climate change. The production and use of fossil fuels and the resulting CO2 emissions are among the most profoundly affecting ways that humans have impacted the planet. Recent studies indicate that CO2 emissions contribute to the deterioration of the Earth's ozone layer which may, in turn, contribute to global climate change. This is especially true when emissions are combined with the loss of the carbon sink effect of forest lands due to deforestation and existing particulate matter in the air. Although the magnitude and effect of this climate change is still being debated, the scientists have reached a consensus that human activities do have some really bad influence on the global environment. The expansion and growth of human population and the requirements of growing human families place strenuous demands on our environment. Through human intervention, we have changed our ecosystem forever. However, though some of these changes may be negative, humans also have the power to correct their mistakes and change the world's environment for the better. The Positive Contribution of Human Beings to the Environment Management of the Environment the ecosystem benefits from us through our proper environmental management. This restores ecological equilibrium. It will reduce disturbances and harmful activities that are done by nature itself. Preservation of our environment. For the sake of ecological balance, governments of several nations have taken measures to preserve wildlife. Wildlife sanctuaries and national parks are being constructed to serve this purpose. This greatly helps in protecting and saving endangered species from extinction. Environmental Awareness When human beings are properly made aware of the value of maintaining and protecting our environment, there would be a substantial decrease in negative and harmful behaviors against the environment. That's why several awareness programs are being introduced to impart appropriate knowledge, especially among young people. Pollution control. Clean water and clean air are both very important for life. Several steps are being taken by humans to reduce air and water pollution. This is restoring our world that in the past has had adverse effects on humanity, including acid rain. We conserve flora and fauna of the earth. We, humans, play a great key role in this respect by creating biosphere reserves, botanical gardens, and other areas for conservation. Afforestation. Afforestation is the method of planting trees or sowing seeds to create a forest in a barren land devoid of any vegetation or trees. Afforestation reduces the level of pollution in the air. With more trees, this will, in turn, improve the quality of air that we breathe in. Conservation of soil. There are many methods human beings use to manage soil contamination, which is an important resource. Many of these activities are crop rotation, wind breaks, contour plowing, and terrace planting. These activities reduce the erosion of soil. Conservation of water resources. We are becoming more protective of Earth's resources. Water pollution is being prevented in several areas by restricting the throwing of domestic wastes and industrial wastes into the water bodies. 
other new techniques such as management of watershed, harvesting of rainwater, and drip irrigation are being implemented. These are required for conserving water resources.